What is up guys, Rick Kakis here, and today we are going to be discussing what, in my opinion, are the best of the nine new supers being added with the Forsaken expansion in Destiny 2. Now, I have been able to experience all nine of these supers, either having played them directly or having them used against me like in Gambit or on my team in Gambit and of course talking a bunch with fellow content creators. As you can imagine when you're all brought together to use the new supers in Gambit, after that's done you're gonna talk about what you liked, what you didn't, you know all of your supers inner workings and that's exactly what happened so I'm pretty well versed in these nine new supers. And by the way a thank you to Activision for providing for my flights and accommodations so I could go to these events. And the reason we're talking about this today at the eve of Forsaken is to help you guys decide which supers to pick first. Because if you're maining a Titan, you're only going to be able to pick one of those supers initially. According to the information that's already out there, it could take up to a week before you're unable to unlock another one of your new supers. So deciding what to pick first is actually a really, really important thing with this new expansion. And so what we're going to do in this video is to break down the three supers in each of the different classes and talk about what I think is my favorite of the new supers per class. And then at the end of the video, also talk about about my favorite super for PvE overall and my favorite super for PvP overall. And so let's get started with obviously the best class in the game. I love doing this because everyone's like, what the heck is he gonna say? Um, the Titan. So Titan is getting, of course, the new supers. Let's start here with the Arc new super, which is essentially a twist on the traditional slam. But this time you become a flying torpedo is Probably the scientific term, I would say. Essentially, when you activate this new um, slam, you're going to jump up in the air and you can steer yourself with a pretty good degree of freedom. Now, it's not 100% freedom. You will always arc down. Like, you can't swerve back up into the air, so you'll always arc slowly down, but you can launch yourself across the entire map and as soon as you hit either a solid object or actually a powerful enemy, you will stop, smash, and anything in that area is gonna take a lot of damage. Now, after you unlock these supers, you can utilize that super and unlock more perks for these attunements, essentially. So, for this one in particular, you get a new melee ability that will let you, instead of shoulder striking, you're going to, if you're up in the air, be able to choose where you slam down on the ground, basically like a mini death from above, a really cool melee ability. You can also automatically reload your weapons when you slide over ammo. But moving on from there, we have the brand new Void Titan Super called Banner Shield. Now what this does is that when you activate it, you take out your normal Sentinel Shield, but then when you're doing the defensive maneuver, when you're blocking, it has a massive void area come out of that shield. Basically, it makes a bigger shield on top of that. Now, allies can shoot through this shield and they'll actually gain bonus damage when they do, and the massive void shield will block incoming fire. Fantastic team focused ability on top of that you can also by inflicting void damage inflict void detonators which cause enemies to explode when killed so better for ad clearing moving on from there we have the new solar super with burning maul this thing looks pretty darn sweet you take out a massive two-handed hammer and you smack the ground and it kills everything. It does quite a bit of area of effect damage. You can also kind of spin around with it, which is going to inflict more targeted damage, but you literally do spin in 360s, so anyone around you is damaged. On top of that, when you do do the heavy slam and hit the ground, it creates a fire tornado that will go forward, kind of move enemies out the way and continuously damage them. Now, this wasn't insane at killing players when invading in Gambit, but at against PvE enemies, that's where it was most at home. It also has a really awesome ability where the more solar ability kills you get, the higher your damage goes up to three times. So what you can do is go and throw your new melee ability, which actually throws a physical like glowing red hammer. And that hammer, when it hits the enemy, it does damage obviously, and then it drops to the ground. You can go over and collect it and pick it back up. So yes, you literally can throw the hammer, kill a guy, pick it up, throw the hammer, 
pick it up, throw the hammer, and it will bounce around so you can throw it, hit a guy, bounce back to you, throw it again. Like, there's some pretty crazy stuff you can do. But you can get a bunch of melee kills or whatever, get a bunch of solar ability kills, get your stacks to three times, then activate your burning maul and be doing phenomenal damage. So, what is my favorite of these three supers? Well, I've gotta say, it's Burning Maul. This super very much appeared to be Arc Strider, but for the Titan. Again, I wasn't able to see it do insane things in terms of PvP, but in PvE it does seem very, very powerful, lasts for a long time, and that three times bonus damage for Arc abilities things, like you can really exploit that to get a ton of damage output. All right, now moving on from there, we have the three new supers for the Warlock. And let's start here with the Void Warlock super called Nova Warp. This thing is very similar to the Titan Striker ability, just the slam the ground, move around, slam the ground again, except your movement is vastly, vastly increased. So instead of running around like a Titan would, you teleport around. Like you literally warp around the map and apparently you can activate it very, very fast. Like just go blink, 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 blink and just kind of go zigzag all the way to your target and use your Nova Warp. But also Nova Warp comes in two different kind of abilities. You can Nova Warp right away, which is gonna do uh, damage in that area, or you can hold down the trigger to create a more powerful Nova Warp and then let that go. And that's just gonna do even more damage in that area. So you can, you can choose how much damage you wanna inflict if you wanna get it off right away or hold it for even better damage. Now, on top of the super, we have a couple more things going on. Firstly, you get a new Atomic Breach melee ability that creates a void explosion at range while holding the grenade button down creates a short range area explosion supernova. Also to help with survivability there's a perk where any void ability kills will heal you and grant ability energy. Next up, we have the new Stormcaller Super, Chaos Reach. I've actually done a full video on this because I played it extensively um, during Gambit, so if you want to check it out in much more detail, definitely click the annotation above. But this thing is going to turn you into a Dragon Ball Z character. You shoot forth a massive laser, damages anything it hits, and it has a lot more supporting abilities. So, firstly, Kills are sometimes going to create ionic traces that travel towards you, and when you absorb them, they give you more ability energy. So actually, while you're in your super and you're utilizing it, the arc traces will come towards you and you will actually extend your super, somewhat like Dawnblade when you get kills. On top of that, the melee is super cool. You actually just shoot an arc ball that travels forward a pretty far distance and then explodes outwards, damaging any enemies nearby. Now moving on from there, we have the Solar Warlock new super, the Well of Radiance. This is kind of like Healing Rift on steroids. In fact, this entire new super is focused around being a support character. So when you utilize your super again, it's a massive, essentially healing rift. Anyone inside gets bonus health and shields and the longer they stay inside, the more substantial those buffs are. In addition to that, your melee attacks, when you melee uh, an ally, they're actually gonna empower those allies and by holding your grenade down, you can deploy a blessing, which is going to heal allies. It's all about team support. So, for the Warlock, my personal favorite new super was definitely the Chaos Reach. This thing was very, very good against adds because, number one, it can damage a singleton ad quite a bit. So, a boss and stuff like that, very good against those guys. But also really good against groups of adds. Something that, you know, traditional Storm Trance would be good for. Because of those Ionic Traces, you can really extend your super and inflict a ton of damage. But the difference between Chaos Reach and normal Storm Trance is that Chaos Reach does so much more damage, it's not even funny. It's way, way, way out DPSing Tickle Fingers. But also, it's very, very good against PvP enemies. Like when I was invading, really easy to kill guys. You absolutely melt other players. So just how versatile it is, how much damage it does, I really liked it and I'm definitely going to be picking it first. With that being said, if you at all like being a support character, definitely go with the Well of Radiance. Like, I feel like this is going to be something that, especially if you're a new player, if you're using Well of Radiance, 
everyone's going to be happy. You know, during the boss fight, pop Well of Radiance and everyone is going to benefit from that. It's kind of the easiest subclass to use in a sense. I'm sure there's more difficult things to master it, but it is very easy to use. It helps the team. Everyone's happy when you're using it. So that's another thing to consider. Moving on from there, we have the three new supers for the Hunter. Firstly, we have the new Void Super, Spectral Blades. This is somewhat like Arc Strider from back in D1, except obviously Void and a few more things going on. One of the coolest things about this class is that it gains the ability to, when you get a precision kill at full health, so you take no damage during that kill, you're going to earn a flawless execution. That's going to make you do two things. Number one, you turn invisible, and number two, you gain True Sight, the ability to see through walls. That is a very powerful ability. And although it's not the super itself that's giving you this powerful thing, it's another ability for this attunement essentially, it's still something that definitely people should be either watching out for or consider utilizing themselves. Moving on from there, we have the new super for the Solar Hunter, the Blade Barrage. Now this thing, you know, when I first kind of saw it in the trailer, I thought you'd be able to use it multiple times. No, it's kind of a one and done thing. And I would really describe it as the hunter, the solar hunter version of the Nova Bomb. It's a hunter Nova Bomb, it really is. You use it and the area that you're looking at gets a ton of damage dealt to them. So against singleton like bosses, it does phenomenal damage against them. Against a group of ads, it will kill most guys in that group. Like, it really does feel Nova Bomb-ish. Now, your melee is also changing to fling out a fan of knives, and killing burning enemies will recharge your melee ability. Pretty useful synergy there. And killing burning enemies will also recharge your dodge. Now, moving on from there, we have the new super for the Ark Hunter, which is Whirlwind Guard. So this is somewhat similar to the new Sentinel Titan super where they can just activate their super and pretty much, you know, bash shields as normal. Just like this one, you can activate the super and use your arc staff like you normally would. But when you're doing your guard ability, different stuff happens. So in this case, you utilize your whirlwind guard, you spin around your staff and you not only block incoming damage, you actually deflect it back. So if someone shoots a rocket at you in PvP, you can potentially not only negate it, but shoot it back at them, killing them, which is definitely a pretty cool ability. But most importantly, when you're utilizing your Whirlwind Guard and you block incoming attacks, you deflect incoming attacks, you gain a bonus to actually triple the damage of your Arc Staff afterwards. So we already know how powerful Arc Staff is, especially in PvE circumstances. The fact that you can now just block or reflect a couple of attacks and then get this bonus to get triple damage, you're gonna be able to absolutely melt bosses. Now, on top of that, if you slide before you do your melee, you unleash a powerful uh, uppercut, which is gonna do more damage than normal. And any melee hits are also gonna increase your reload speed. On top of that, all your arc abilities electrify your enemies and subsequent melee strikes disorient them and refuel your abilities. So quite a bit of synergy going there. So what is my pick for the best new hunter super? Well, I've got to say, even though Spectral Blades does have the ability just because of the headshot thing to be very, very prominent, especially in PvP if it's used correctly, I do think the one, you know, I would pick first is Whirlwind Guard. The fact that you're basically getting an Arc Staff which has already been proven very, very good and, you know, in many circumstances just making it better, giving you more defense and more power when you use that defense, I think that's going to be a major, major player, especially in PvE and even in PvP, it's still an Arc Staff, which we all know is still pretty darn good. And so, overall, what are the best new supers for PvE and PvP? Well, let's start here with PvP. There's a couple that definitely spring to mind. I would say the new Spectral Blade super for the Hunter, just because of that invisibility thing, that's gonna play a factor for sure. I think the Chaos Reach is going to be very, very powerful. It's kind of similar to a golden gun in how fast it kills. And if you can pop it and there's a bunch of enemies, you can just strafe across and kill all of them. It was very, very powerful. 
And the Thunder Crash Super for the Titan is very good at PvP as well because you can just aim your slam to wherever you need to go. You can fly all the way into the enemy's base if you want to. But the best overall, and this is kind of a hunch, but I'm going to give it to Spectral Blades. The actual super is quite useful. You're very nimble, and that's something that you can just kind of go around corners and, you know, Blade Dancer was kind of the same way. If you use it right, you can get a lot of kills with your super, but that whole ability to go invisible and gain true sight, see enemies through walls and stuff, that's so powerful. I foresee that being used quite a bit in PvP. With that being said, you know, it is not winning by a large margin. There's other very good supers out there, and, you know, use whatever you're most comfortable with, but that's my opinion. Moving on from there, the best one for PvE. This is also really interesting. This is really interesting and a very hard decision because, and, and of course, again, you know, this is just my opinion. Obviously, use whatever sounds the best to you and all of that stuff because there's so many different ways you could go. You know, what's the best damage output for PvE? Well, it's probably either going to be the Burning Maul or Whirlwind Guard. Those are gonna be outputting so much damage, but is it all about damage output in PvE? Because you have the Well of Radiance being probably the best overall attunement for supporting your team that we've ever seen. So that could become a major player in PvE activities. But I think, and this is kind of gonna throw you guys for a loop, I think, but I think that the best new super for PvE is the Banner Shield Void new super for the Titan. Why? Well, just because when you activate this super, when you're using your banner shield and it produces that big void wall and you shoot through, you get a damage bonus. That is so applicable to so many different activities, it's crazy. I mean, how many raid scenarios, how many strike scenarios, where it would be useful to be able to go behind a big wall of void that absorbs all incoming damage and you shoot through that wall and you get bonus damage. Like that is just every DPS phase in Destiny would benefit from that ability. I definitely foresee it being very highly used, especially for end game activities. Now you may be wondering, why didn't I pick that as my favorite overall new super for the Titan? I went with Burning Maul. Well, simply because it's going to be more fun to use Burning Maul. Like, this is a defensive super, and that's not as fun as running around and making fire tornadoes. Also, you know, during the early portion of the game, I think Burning Maul is going to be a lot more useful. Banner Shield is going to be really good at end game activities, so you can wait and unlock it second or third and still be fine. And so guys, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. And if you guys want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel, which you can also follow. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.